do it! Woo! Right. Uh, so, again, folks, welcome in. Uh, apologies again that uh, initially the schedule got swapped around because Brony's Rack was intended to be on Friday, and it wasn't. Uh, because I wasn't here, because I'm lazy and decided I was going to fly United Airlines and they didn't want me to oh. be here for another 13 hours. So, oh. once I finally got here, for those that don't know, I got here at 7 p.m. on Friday. Unfortunately, mm. that meant I missed basically everything that was supposed to happen on Friday that I was going to be a part of. Uh, but I've made it, somehow, some way. Now, I know that some of you really don't want to cheer. You're like... <laughs> yeah, scary. Yeah. No, but again, seriously, thank you for uh, for coming on out uh, to all of our panels this weekend. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun. We're going to be having fun here today as well. As uh, we're going to have this Brony's Rag panel that's going to go from ten to eleven thirty, and then uh, following that, there's also going to be a, a Jackbox panel that's going to be uh, held, which uh, I'm going to be a part of. I believe Paleo is also going to be a part of that as well. Uh, and then following that's the charity auction. So it's going to be very busy. Uh, in here throughout this, uh, this Sunday. So, uh, and I see some of you munching down on the breakfast in here. So yeah, yeah, I feel it. Um, I have my breakfast here as well. Um, I would like to give a shout out to uh, Assassin Monkey for my nutritious. <laughs> there we go. Waffle mini. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Got a little Dutch. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring people on up here uh, for this. Now this is, uh, again, the uh, Brony's Rack panel. And I'm also totally just now realizing that I forgot. I've been in here for about like 10 minutes prior and not once did I mention this to the AV. But before I even mention anything to AV, can we give a round of applause to them for a great job? <laughs> So I think we only need the four mics up here. Is it possible for us to set up the fifth as a uh, Q and A mic? Is that a, is that cool? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Once again, round of applause for all the staff here in the city. All right. So I'll go ahead and start bringing the people up. Uh, first off, why don't we bring up Helio Steno? Hi, Bailey. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Is it? You having a good morning? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> promise? I promise. Good. <sighs> Why don't we also bring up Silver Quill? Silver Quill. And last but certainly the last. <laughs> Sunday morning, Jack Splay! Did you want a wireless mic? All right, so while we uh, set this up, uh, who's your favorite pony? Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle. Oh, Fluttershy. Uh, Fluttershy. Oh, Fluttershy. Yeah. Starlight Glimmer. Uh, I don't have to ask you anymore. <laughs> Wait, is that your camera right there? Yeah. What's it doing down there, I'm wondering? It died. It, oh. oh no. It's, oh no. It goes down. Okay, well, wait, let me clarify. You're vibing. Plain death. CPR. In action. Oh, it's just resting. <laughs> that would be really sad. Okay. <laughs> CPR on camera. Now, you're making puns, aren't you? Like, that are going over my head that I don't even. Mostly, I'm actually in a book Monty Python. This camera is no more. Actually, I, I want to I wanna apologize. It's always dangerous when we have Silver and Jax on a panel at the same time. <laughs> Um, whatever happens, happens with that. So, uh, is there anyone out there who is not familiar with uh, what Brony's React even is? And, and it is okay to raise that hand. Caleb? Stop you. So, uh, I don't think anyone did. Uh, no one raised their hands. This, oh, yeah, there's the hand. There we go. So, uh, Brony's React is a series on YouTube that uh, we've been putting together now um, for over 10 years. Uh, it started out with us uh, just, just making some... Uh, kind of a joke parodies back to uh, initially starting out to what was a reaction that was made to Bronies uh, from the Fine Brothers, which is a, a very big reaction channel uh, from back in the day. I don't actually know if 
they're still they doing anything? Anymore? I don't know. <laughs> well, they've done like they like branched off and did like t so many different React series. Those yeah. like kids to teens to adults to like. The channel's now just called React. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so see, they, like, they lost their fineness. Oh. Yeah. Oh. See? After they tried to, after they tried to trademark. They tried to. Yeah. Trademark. So, so anyways, uh, Fine Brothers, uh, they they started out. Their, the big series they had was called Kids React. They had kids reacting to like memes online, and uh, just having them try to explain it as kids, and it was charming. It was adorable. And then they're like, well, why don't we up it to the next level and have teens react to things? You know, maybe maybe things that are a little bit more more adult. Uh, you know, more mature. And uh, one of the things I had them react to was the phenomenon of the Brony fandom. And all they showed them was the intro to the show and then said, okay, why are men into this? Why would they, you know, it, the way it was presented, uh, the teens were like, what the heck is going on? And, and I thought it'd be funny if, uh, what if the Bronies reacted to the teens' reaction of the Bronies? <laughs> Inception. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, it, uh, that's what eventually spawned the series. And then uh, we started to do reacts to episodes, and that really became uh, the main kind of topic uh, for the series, was actually doing show-related reactions, and we've been doing that again for over ten years at this point, guys. Wow. Yeah. 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 Does that bring pain to anybody when you're like, what? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, uh... I don't know if I see them, but there is somebody who uh, came up to me this week and that was like, yeah, I, I got into your stuff when I was in fourth grade. I'm yeah. 19 now. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, actually, I actually started to shrivel where I'm on the spot. <laughs> I told that to you, too, because I started watching your stuff when I was in, I think, fourth or fifth grade, and I'm now going into my last year of college. Well, stop it. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so what we enjoy doing here for the Bronies React panels is uh, we these are very much driven by you, the audience. Uh, we love interacting. We love telling stories, answering questions. And, and guys, I mean, whatever you can come up with, asterisk, family-friendly, technically, should be, mostly, at least. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, what, whatever you guys want to come up with, it doesn't just have to be questions about Bronies React. It could be questions in regards to any of these individuals and their content that they make. It could be, again, some of you thought this may have been the Who Would Win panel. If you want to ask a Who Would Win question, this was also going to be the panel for Who Would Win. So you can ask us questions in regards to that. Uh, there's really, yes, I have a question. Okay, wait. Uh, but there's really no limit. Okay, now. <laughs> Is that your practice? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, micro <laughs> you didn't lie. Yeah. This is it. This is uh, what they, yeah. So what you do is, uh, for the micro Stroop waffle, they have an adapter that you put into the regular size Stroop waffle. Ah. <laughs> 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 I, I gotta say, I never thought you'd Stroop so low. Oh. 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 <laughs> can we all, every time that <laughs> any of them say a bad pun, can we just get the loudest <laughs> boo? Boo. This is a Dragon Ball Z-Con. Uh, so, uh, with that, we have a Q&A mic, and this is, we, we typically like to do it by lines, um, so anyone that wants to step up to the mic first and be our first question, I see one warming up to it. Yes! Round of applause for our first question! So you said this would be the yeah, would win, win the house, so does this mean, since we have the spot, you won? Oh. 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 Gosh, it's spot spreading. <laughs> Guys, it's Sunday morning. Yes. Uh, Go to church. Praise you. Know something funny? So, like, um, the people who are doing, bro um, not Brian, Teens React and Kids React and all that. So, like, they interviewed some of those kids recently, and they were saying, they were just dunking on the Fine Brothers. They were like saying, oh, yeah, like, we weren't allowed to say most of our opinions. They told us, like, what to say, and they would, like, cut a lot of what we actually like had our opinions, and so some people probably were like, oh, I, I don't mind the but I was like, no, we have to promote this, it's weird, and all this stuff, so like... It's like the same party show. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Good times. Good old school. Did like Good old school. Kid end up becoming a brony eventually? Yeah, yeah, he did. The next, the next react, he was wearing a, a brony shirt. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Which again, I'm like, with some channels and whatnot, I can't, I'm not convinced whether or not he actually was like, oh yeah, let's get in the show, or the Five Brothers were like, Put it on. Yeah. 
there's a lot of people in the Brony fandom. <laughs> right. Let's make some of them happy. But yeah, it was uh, it was funny seeing that contrast when he showed up for his next one. Everyone's like, "Aha! <laughs> Take that!" So so you were the one brave soul who stepped up to the Q and A mic, and and you threw it down with a pun. And now, now no one's willing to. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. And again, guys, don't be shy. We're here to have fun for the next uh, now hour and fifteen minutes. Let's do it. All right. So this is a uh, who will win fight. Who in the rafters do you think would win? There's a whole bunch of ponies up here. I just noticed right. that. Oh, I didn't notice that. All right, that so, I so, can't see him. I see uh, Sunset. Uh, I see Pinky. Is that Celestia up there? Well, she won't do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, she, she won't do it. Uh, 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 is Twilight up there? No. 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 Okay. okay, then probably Celestia. Who's this one? The I mean, Rainbow probably Dash. Celestia if you actually like Dash. Rainbow Dash. Dash. Oh, yeah, go Rainbow Dash. I totally recognize her from this side. <laughs> Oh, and there's another one over there. Oh, there's Gilda. So, <laughs> so for those those that, because I know like some of the stuff's being streamed or recorded, for those that can't see, there's plushies that are lining the light bracket up here. Um, I, I did also notice this yesterday, and I was like, ah, okay. I mean, would Pink like if Pinkie Pie really got pissed off? Do do we not? Well, she has tune force, so she just right. I feel like I feel like she would. Yeah. We've all seen the video. Yeah. 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 It depends on the sequence in which events happen. Because, like, so let's get Discord. I'm going to go one on one. True. Rainbow Dash will try to help and probably be caught in the aftermath. Uh -huh. If Celestia wins, then Pinky can overwhelm her with cake. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. And also, I'm experiencing a paradox. Princess Celestia is currently mooning us. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to say boo. Neither way you can empower me. Can they say Majin instead? Yeah. What, what's modern? Is that like something you lose? Yeah, now you're trapped in my pool. <laughs> Do you want to just leave? <laughs> yeah. All right, so since you've stepped up, uh, now I'm going to put you on the spot. And j just because, again, you're the second brave soul, I'm going to have you come up with the most random question you can think of. Just something that's something like ludicrous. Ten. Nine. Oh, no. Eight. Oh, no. Okay, so this Seven. is for paleo. Okay. Yes. Did you beat Dread Mode in Metro Dread? I did. Okay, cool. I did too. Nice. All right. Well, thank you. Great. You came up with something. <laughs> I, I beat it 15 times. That's oh, cool. Nice. I 15? Did. Yes. It's a good game. Who, who, okay. does, who does something that many times? Who? <laughs> okay, Zootopia. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, I, have a good, I have a good question for you. How would you like a better breakfast? What's, what's, what's it? Oh my gosh, uh, did you bring more cookies or something? Yes, I got more cookies. Yes, yes. more, more. Did, did they just regenerate in this box? Because I know that box was empty yesterday. <laughs> thank you. Mm. Oh my gosh, wow, thank you. that's awesome. All right, all right. We're upgrading to the next level of breakfast, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, hello? Uh, two questions. For Jack's play, what are you in for? What? What are you in for? What am I in for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully the other You're question was for Jack. Oh, here he is. Uh, You're supposed um, to but, say the line, Jack. Say the line, Bart. Bart? No. <laughs> uh, he killed a man. Yeah. 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 I was going to say it randomly, and just go like, I killed him, and I'll kill all you two. <laughs> uh, but genuine question, uh, Race Best, since you're, um, I assume, you're the first one to coordinate Brony's React, right? And at the very beginning, what was the experience like gathering the people at first, or even like in the future ones? Um, uh, so yeah, uh, back in 2012, um, I'm trying to remember when the actual Fine Brothers one came out, but, but yeah, it was early 2012. Uh, I know that our React released in February of that year. Um, it was a uh, it was a very interesting experience because we oftentimes, including last night, host a How to YouTube panel, and a lot of times people ask about getting started and, and eventually sometimes questions about collabing. 
And uh, that was, you know, my first step really into it was for me, um, you know, at the time, uh, I think I had 167 subscribers on YouTube. I'd been uploading videos that were um, more PMV-esque uh, or, or almost anthology-esque because that was my initial inspiration for making content in the fandom. Mm -hmm. um, so I was, I was putting that stuff together and, uh, and then, you know, this Fine Brothers video came out and that's when I had the idea. I'm like, wouldn't it be funny if we reacted back to this reaction? The thing was, I didn't know anybody, uh, personally, in the Brony fandom outside of my very close friends who had got me into it, including uh, my, uh, well, now wife, who uh, was like, hey, watch an episode. So, uh, my next step was, I need to go through and, and, you know, see if I can find people who are willing to do this. And I was searching, what I searched on YouTube was, Bronies with a camera. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, well, let's see who, who, you know, who out there is willing to show their face and, and be a part of this. And um, I found a, a number of people. I may have contacted, I don't know, maybe 15 or so people. And I think I heard back from like eight or nine. And five of those were willing to be a part of it. And... Um, uh, one of which was, uh, if anyone remembers Solrak. Yeah. And it was funny because Solrak's like, wouldn't it be funny if I had art made of my pony and, and I'm just, you know, I, I show up basically as his, like, as his avatar instead of in, in person. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. And then I think, I think through him um, was also, I think at the time he also knew the living tombstone and was like, hey, uh, what if we uh, see if he wants to do it? And for some reason, Toom was like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> um, and, and then there were a, a couple others, uh, some of which did not make a lot of appearances uh, in, in the series, but uh, I still would see them from time to time throughout the years, uh, like Brony Mike. Um, and then I'm sure a lot of you know, like Dusty Cat. Um, do you know him? I know he has a presence out out in this area as well. Um, and and yeah, it was just me going through and just asking people like, hey, is anyone willing to to be a part of this video? Here's the idea. Here's what what I want to do with it. And I had these five individuals put faith in me. You know, they're they're like, we don't really know much about you. Uh, this can be a controversial type of video. And it's like, but hey, why not? Let's see what let's see what you can do with it. And them giving me that chance was was initially what allowed what that happened over the next ten years. Uh, because I hit up everybody going into it, going, there's a chance that nobody's going to want to be a part of this. And if that happened, then we wouldn't have had the first one get made, and I, I don't know if I would have pursued something similar the way that we did. Um, so, so once that video ended up going up, uh, and I told everybody too, like when I when I was was kind of explaining, like, well, here's a little bit of the organization that we want to do, uh, as far as like, you know, we're going to answer these questions, uh, react to the video itself. But I told them, I said, what I'm not looking to do in this video is I'm not trying to prove a point. I'm not trying to prove them wrong, specifically. Because sometimes the last thing you want to do when you go on the internet is be like, well, here's why you're wrong. And that's, it just comes across as defensive. Yeah, and it's yes. like, oh, oh, you can't take a joke, or oh, you can't do this. I'm like, guys, we're just going to have fun with this. Mm -hmm. I just want this to be funny. I just want this to be something that people could get a laugh at, mm -hmm. whether they're in the fandom or not. And, um, yeah, the video went up. And I just remember, at one point I got contacted, I think by Dean Odom, and he's like, are you seeing what's happening? And I was in college at the time, so I think I was in class. And uh, I'm like, no, what, what's happening? He's like, dude, you have to check out the video. And it was exploding. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was a lot of people that were like, this is hilarious. And a lot of people that were like, you guys suck! <laughs> And I expected that, though. I expected. I'm like, I knew because this was a very, uh, it was a very hot time in the fandom where it was either you were a brony or you hated bronies on the internet. There was like no in between. 
Um, and, and yeah, so I knew we were going to get that. I, I went in that with that ex uh, expectation. And, uh, but it was funny seeing all the people within the fandom that were all of a sudden like showing up in the comments that were like sticking up for the video. Uh, many of, many people I didn't, I had never met. Uh, and then Dinota brought me into like this chat, um, with a bunch of musicians, uh, in the fandom at the time, like, like Mike Microphone, Alex S, uh, a lot of these names that I'm like, holy cow, like, you guys just hang out? Like, that's neat. And that's, that was actually the initial group I ever got to meet. I, I didn't know any of these guys uh, at the time, none of which, none of you guys were in my first video. No. What were you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you weren't even in the fandom yet, right? No, I was, I was busy reading police reports. Oh. Uh, <laughs> get, just get ready for the Bernie fandom. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it just, it was, it was so cool to see how the, the fandom kind of came uh, and backed it up. And, and again, how the initial group was, was willing to be a part of it. And um, I don't even know if I've ever answered this particular question in this much detail, but uh, just because of the nature of this panel, it's like, well, I had that opportunity to do so. Um, I'm forever thankful both in the, in the individuals that were willing to be a part of it at, at the get-go, and also just in the fandom for embracing the series as they did. Like, it was never intended to be a series, but we saw how successful it was. I think in three days it hit 100,000 views. Wow. For my channel of 167 mm, subscribers, awesome. <laughs> that's literally life-changing. It's like, what just happened? And that's when we were like, well, what if we make another one? <laughs> we uh, so conveniently had uh, something happen with Derpy. Like a yeah, month like later. that on. Yeah. And uh, that's when we're like, well, why don't we react to this and, and talk about it? And then that's when it, it eventually spawned to us doing more and more stuff with the show. Was that, was that the first one that Saber was in? Yeah, that was the first one Saber was in. Yeah. 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 yeah he, okay, so, so uh, and again, folks, uh, Saber Spark was supposed to be here this weekend. Uh, unfortunately, he got nailed with COVID. Like, tested positive for the day he was supposed to travel out. Um, and, uh, but this is a great story. Uh, Saber, uh, he went to the gas station. He walked to the gas station to get muffins. Because he, you know, his derby, muffins. And I think he ate the muffins before he got back yeah, to film. Know. And then he's like, oh, crud. Then he had to go back and eat the muffins. <laughs> he, he does that with food sometimes. 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 <laughs> All the time. Never trust yeah, he's food. When he goes, when he's like, hey guys, I like how now we're roasting him. <laughs> hey, I got some food if you guys are hungry. And then it's like, never mind. It's right. I remember like somebody was going to give some uh, some muffin, muffins or something to Tom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and Sam was like, oh yeah, there was these were supposed to be for you and they're like empty. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, that's how it. Uh, a, a lot of that early experience came to be, and then, and then I was able to once once the series gained traction, I was able to hit up people a lot easier because I actually had something to look at and go, oh, this is what you're doing. And for years and years, even to this day, I still get a lot of people that that hit me up about like, hey, I'd love to be part of the series, and because of the logistics, I'm only able to utilize so many people. Um, and, and I really appreciate the people that have been working with me, so that's one reason why we oftentimes see familiar faces in the show. But uh, it's, uh, it is, people ask me, they're like, "Oh, did you run out of time? I promised I'd get to your question. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, um, yeah, it just, uh, I, the fact that, like, people have asked, they're like, oh, when people ask you about being on the Bronies Rack series, do you ever, like, is it annoying that you get so many requests? And I'm like, no, it's, it's actually, like, really humbling. It's, it's neat to see how many people still love the series enough to want to be a part of it. And, and yeah, it's, uh, and again, for all of you that showed up here today, like, again, thank you for all your support. So, thank you, guys. Thank you. I have a question like, for, for all of us up here. Yeah. Uh, what was the first react you were part of? Please? <laughs> Let me think. Well, <laughs> um, actually, I'll answer this by, by mentioning one other thing. It, who out there knows who Panama Matt is? All right, so, so we got some people. So for those that don't know, he's, he's a, a close friend of mine who I actually met through the Chippa Del Rescue Ranger fandom before I ever got into My Little Pony. Yep. And um, before the, the Ronies React came out, I, I, I contacted him. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm just looking for like another person to be part of this series. 
just and and I and I've explained this before, and sometimes I'm like, I want to clarify how I'm saying that because I've said it for the numbers, and, and what I meant was the number of people that were actually up there um, in the video. And uh, for him, he he's like, no, no, that's not my thing. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have my face on the internet and and whatnot. And and I laugh, uh, I laugh now because I remember telling him like. How many people do you think are actually going to see this? <laughs> and now that that video has over a million views, it's like, well, maybe a couple. <laughs> so what was yours? Uh, my very first was a royal problem. Back when what? Starlight solved the friendship issue between Celestia and Louie. And I had no idea what I was doing. I had plenty of start-stop moments. It's like, oh, right, my house hates me in recording. Really? Like, I thought it was more like all the windows are behind me, behind my sofa, behind the chairs. Uh, so you look, it looks like there's a nuclear inferno going on. <laughs> I have to, for a while there, I had to wait until it was evening to even hope to record. Mm. Now I finally invested in some blackout blinds. Mm. I, oh. He did, they look real nice. I oh, think. <laughs> uh, my first was, I think it was the season three premiere, because it was like right after we had been to Equestria LA. And like that's when we were at me, you and Saber had actually been hanging out because yeah. like we, we first met in Everything in Northwest 2012, but that was just when we were interviewing you. It was very and, formal. Yeah. It was strange looking yeah. back at it now. Um, yeah, we were interviewing you for the, the Running Chronicles, but yeah, and then we were hanging out at Equestria LA that year, and uh, they were uh, talking about it, and uh, I asked you about Bernie's React, and yeah, uh, that's when I was still like doing reviews at the time as the show was coming out. So, yeah, the, the season three premiere, and then like a bunch of other ones afterwards. Nice, nice. Jax? Uh, okay, it was um, the first one I remember, it was supposed to be the college humor one, because we were talking for, because you were messaging me at BronyCon 2012, but I forget initially how we like started talking. We started talking on Skype, and then you were seeing like BronyCon 2012 stuff, and I was like, oh, I wish you were here, dude. And then it was like prior to that, that, um, uh, you were like, oh, um, do you want to be in this Brony Direct for this? And I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds fun. But they were like, oh, the season two finale is coming out. Do you want to, like, hop in on that real quick? And I was like, oh, yeah, I can, I can definitely do that. So that was, like, my very first one was the season two uh, finale. And then um, I think I, after that, I was just like, oh, yeah, I can just, like, show up and do all this stuff. And it was, like, it was fun. But, yeah, I remember uh, Gabe actually messaged me. In the first uh, one, he was like, oh yeah, I saw you in that one. It's just like, I feel like uh, I, I want to ask, but I don't want to, and all of a sudden. So it was, it was so funny with like Gabe, because he was just like, uh, I, I really would want to be in it, but I don't know how I would. And then lo and behold, he was in the next one, too. So. Gabe was funny, too, because when he hit me up, I got this message from someone named Christ Kids. Yeah, Christ Kids <laughs> is what I used to have, because we used to have YouTube messaging. Yeah, so, like, you, could just... you used to be able to message uh, people yeah, through YouTube. Yeah, that's been gone for like years now. Yeah. <laughs> Back in our day. Back in our day. We remember like every version of YouTube. It's sad too because when that went away, you lost like the archives of it. Like yeah. that was how I initially contacted Saber the first time ever. Yes, yeah, right? same. He used uh, he used music from Lord of the Rings, but I forgot where it was from. And I'm like, where's this music from? And he's like, oh, hey man, uh, this is what it's from. And I'm like, that's cool. He answered me. What a guy. Right. So yeah, it's always and that's again. I, I do con vlogs of everything. So like we like it's. You see in the con vlog of Ever Free Northwest 2012, me like formally meeting like Saber, <laughs> like we're shaking hands, and then Paleo. Like it's so funny seeing how we were like interacting then, knowing what would eventually happen. Now. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. That is funny too, because like I look back at like certain. Uh, like, I had known Paleo for a while and uh, Saber for a while because we used to talk on Skype all the time, and I met Hero. Uh, that was when I had no idea what Hero looked like. And then, um, oh, it was, uh, I think we met at, yeah, we met at BronyCon 2012, yeah. but I just remember, I was like, just come here, bear hug, bear hug, and then that was it, and then, like, the rest of the weekend, we hang out, and it was just, yeah. Have you ever uh, thought of doing a react to those blog videos of, of your first Our meeting? first meeting? <laughs> yeah. It's, oh. it's going to be, like, ten years since we first met uh, at Freedom yeah. 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 Right. I haven't even thought about it, but... That sounds Maybe. funny. Yeah, I think that'd be funny. Yeah, that'd yeah. actually be really funny. Yeah. Like, you just compare, like, oh, this is how I met this person. This is how I met this person. Oh, it's like, everybody funny. looks too different except for me. <laughs> it's true. That's right. I don't know what... <laughs> Fountain of youth. Um, hello. 
How much of the footage do you edit before you send in the race, and how much of the footage is edited after you receive it from the reactors? Uh, good question. I don't know if we've had this. I, okay. I, that's good. That is, that is a good question, because sometimes there are certain scenes that I want specifically, like, I, there's this edit that I would like this way, so I'll edit it myself, or I'll, like, chop down the bits and send it to myself. But sometimes it's just, like, I'm working on this, 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 so I'll send, like, Grace a bunch of stuff, and I'll be like, okay, this is what I'm doing, but it sucks because I have, like, multiple takes, so I just will be like, uh, Grace, I mean, that's why I effed up. Like, do this one right here. Uh, I, okay, no, I messed up again, I'll do this, and then I'll say, like, da -da -da, and then I'll specifically be like, I'm reacting to this scene right here, Blah, blah blah, and I just mess up, and then I like just do it again and do it again. So like I try to edit it sometimes, but sometimes it's just like I'll send it that way. Yeah, for what I do is I um, I record my reaction and then I'll edit it to where I'll put a timestamp to where what I'm reacting to in the in the episode or, or whatever. That's smart. Um, and also sometimes I'll have a, a little description under the timestamp just so he knows like exactly what I'm reacting to. I take. Uh my actual footage, and I watch it and think, oh god, I sound like that? <laughs> and I listen for the clip, and then I, I take the clip from the episode, lay it on the editor timeline, I put my reaction to it, episode clip, my reaction, I try to cut it down to just the key elements. And, uh, well, you spend a lot of time listening to yourself, you really start to hate it sound hero voice. <laughs> be like, yeah, you hack. <laughs> Shut your <laughs> trap. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and it varies. Um, as far as like uh, a number of the reactors do that where they'll, they'll edit in the, the show clip and then their actual reaction. And I've come to really appreciate that because it's like, oh, now there's no question. Uh, because what, what happened over, over years and years was I used to uh, specifically tell people, just give me the timestamps. And um, so they wouldn't even give me descriptions, it would, like if it was just a timestamp. And for some reason, everyone started having different timestamps. Like, oh, I downloaded this from this place, so I'm watching this on YouTube, I'm this here. And it, it started changing everything up, so I'm like, I don't get it. What, it, what is this reaction to? What do I, and sometimes, like sometimes in the reaction, they'll put in jokes that maybe I don't get, but I'm like, there's something here. I can just tell by the way this was delivered that there's something good here. Um, the problem is, is if I don't also understand the joke, it's even harder to figure out what is this supposed to be too. Um, and, and yeah, when you're dealing with sometimes uh, 10 plus people that react, yeah, it's, what, it's harder. One thing you did with the, uh, the G5 movie react, uh, one thing I was reacting to was when uh, Izzy is saying, can you fly to the moon? And that's why I played the Fly of the Moon song. But you had it as like an elevator song, like as they were going up. I thought that was the joke! Yeah. I was like, that's really funny, Paleo. Because <laughs> you stood there, or you sat there like for like a minute. Just yeah, I, I was just playing the song because like that's what Izzy said, can you fly to the moon? Well, thanks for calling me out in front of all my friends. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's happened.